not necessarily any new territory today. Uh, we're back at the Philadelphia Regional. I haven't actually attended one of these in a long while. It's just because I've been busy with other stuff. But uh, today we are playing Danger Thunder again uh, as I played for Atlanta. Pretty much didn't change the list too much, but I'm actually extremely confident with the list that I built. Hopefully we can come out on top today. Not really expecting too much. I already have my invite. So there's really no even reason for me to play, but oh my God, holy shit. <laughs> Look at this attendance line. I got some catching up to do. Yeah, I'm super excited for today. Are you ready? Philadelphia Regionals today. Again, not new territory, we've been here before, but I'm like super stoked to play today. Not really anything on the line here for this regional today. I already have my invite, and that's the only thing you can really achieve at these regionals besides like the top cut mat and the, the deck box, of course. But um, if I get that, that'll be cool. I'm just actually looking to top, something I haven't done yet. I've been playing this game for many years now, and I actually don't have any premier top or even like a regional top underneath my belt. Uh, that's really disappointing. I'm hoping to change that today. That's my goal. It is going to be a busy, busy day. Uh, I think the attendance when I was over there, it's gonna be well over 800. It is massive. So we're gonna look around at like 10 rounds of Swiss or something like that. It is an all day ordeal. Again, nothing on my mind except we're looking for that top. That's all I want. That's all I'm gonna get. I registered like 40 minutes ago. This is still the registration lines. <laughs> Hello, Gage. How you doing, bud? You literally? Good luck. Long time. I'm keeping as brief as I can. Welcome to round one. We have no clock today. The clock's not working. That's right. There wasn't a clock for the first two rounds of this tournament. On the bright side, they did get a clock after that, and everything was hunky-dory. But those first two rounds, we were definitely playing blind. Just got done with uh, round two here at the Philadelphia Regionals, and the current record is, as it stands, 1-1. I think I said it before, but I am definitely the most confident I've ever been with the deck I'm playing today. Uh, Danger Thunder, I tested a lot with it over the weekend, and just in general, I think this is one of the decks that I've really just had an affinity towards. I'm definitely like really comfortable with it, and making the combos is an absolute blast. This regional is absolutely bonkers. We have an attendance of, final count, 707 players, and that is a cap as well. The regionals have never had to turn away people here. Uh, so 707, massive count. Uh, definitely very excited to be playing in it today. Both of the matches I played today were against Salomon Great. The first one I played, uh, we went all the way to game three. Game one, I just put the, uh, the optimal board on the field. And then game two, I made a huge misplay actually. Um, I could have plowed through a pretty basic uh, Salomon Great board with one set back row, which I knew was Rage. I could have played through it. Uh, he activated an infinite impermanence on my Saryuja later in my combo, which uh, the draws were negligible. I mean, they would have been great to have, but uh, I wasn't too upset about that. The thing that really caught me was I then activated a Melody in the same zone that he activated the infinite impermanence, and uh, he called me out on it. If that melody would have resolved, I was discarding a uh, Thunder Dragon Roar. And then from there, I could just banish like three cards and resolve like two Thunder effects, chain block the uh, the Levianir, and then just really just do damage from there if that melody would have resolved. But uh, unfortunately, due to my misplay, I did fuck up game two, and it ended up losing game two. Game three, he actually ended up Drool and Lock Burning me on turn one, which is very upsetting. Uh, so I just set a Dragon Dark, and I ended up passing. He set up another basic Salomon Great board. I had to work around, I think, like a Roar 
and a rage or something like that, or like a roar and a call. I think one of them was unknown. I knew he had a roar for sure though. He wasn't able to game me, so he put the Dragon Dark that I uh, tribute set into the graveyard, and from there I was able to get Hawk, and I was able to combo off. The very first thing I did in my following turn was chain block Levianir, and really sounding great. They can't do a whole lot of that because they can't roar the Levianir, so you're gonna be able to pop the two back rows anyways. So he didn't respond with anything, popped the two back rows, and I ended up OTKing him uh, by summoning like the nut board, and he just couldn't play through it. Round one was definitely ideal, went according to plan, but round two went horribly wrong. Game one, I opened up absolute, but I'm pretty sure he didn't even have a hand trap, so I could have like went off if I actually opened an ideal board. But really, the only thing I could have did was I summoned two monsters, I think it was a danger and a white dragon wyver buster, and I tributed them both for Goliath. This play's like not good against anything except Salomon Great because Salomon Great just struggles to out a Goliath in general. Uh, well, it was actually good that I found out he was playing Salomon Great because he couldn't out the Goliath on his turn. So he pretty much just ended up passing on his turn and then conceding after I summoned my Levy near the following turn. So game one was easy. Game two, he opened up first a basic Sally board, which uh, wasn't going to be a problem for me to out because I did have Red Reboot and Denko second in my hand. I was ready. Uh, but the first thing he does during the draw phase of my turn is he drops Artifact Lancia and that literally makes the rest of my hand unplayable. On top of that, he also happened to have an Ash Blossom and Joy Spring too. I, there was no way I was gonna win that game. And then game three, I go first, and I'm ready to set up the net board, and he drew and lock birds me, which normally wouldn't be a problem if I could play through it, but there was no possible way I could play through it. I actually did end up making the same turn one board that I did game one, and I summoned Goliath and passed, and then he was actually able to out Goliath because he had the Panker Tops. You can't win them all. Still feeling super confident about today. I'm ready to take on the rest of the day. Hopefully come out on top. Uh, I think today I have a pretty good chance. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's 10 rounds of Swiss and it's like X3s are gonna be able to get their guaranteed invite, which is something I've never done. So if I can even do that, I'll be definitely very happy. We got a lot of rounds ahead of us though. So uh, might as well just, you know, get back into it. I'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> We're actually in Reading Terminal Market right now. Uh, this, people kind of say this is like a tourist attraction kind of place for Philly. I don't really see it. I think it's neat and all, but uh, I'm just here to grab some grub. I am starving. I'm just trying to get something in my stomach. I 2 owed my opponent real quick. I gotta get something before I get back in there. Eat that brain food. <sighs> just finished round five. It why isn't it pick my face to focus? The one thing in frame. Just finished round five, and as you guys saw, uh, the unlikely happened. I ended up playing one of my teammates in round five, also X1 at the time. I can't believe this shit. Oh, here he comes. I'm so upset. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Why'd this have to happen to us, huh? I'm just gonna have to clap you, Brandon. Yeah? Yeah. All right. We were both absolutely devastated as soon as we saw the online pairings. Uh, we knew one of us was gonna have to go down. So uh, I ended up playing my friend uh, Brandon, as well as teammate, and uh, he took it down with Sky Striker. I'm playing Draco. You saw him more. So my, oh, my, oh, shit. My Vayners are dead. My fucking Phantasm Vayners are dead. So I'm like, there's already six cards right there. So now we are currently X2, moving into round six. I'm pretty sure I can still get like my invite with this record, but one of the things is I don't think I can seal the top cut, like top eight with an X2 record. So that being said, I don't know if there's really a reason to keep playing in the regional today uh, because I already have my invite. So, um, I mean, I might just play a couple more rounds, see how it goes, I'm having a blast. But yeah, kind of irritating that in a 707 man regional, you get paired against your one teammate that's doing just as well as you. Sucks, but um, it happens, I guess. Again, we are X2 moving into round six. Um, again, we are X2 moving into round six. I guess I'll play it out. There's really no reason for me not to. I'll keep you guys posted with that. Well, the, uh, the dream is unfortunately dead. So we ended out the day going X3, I think around round eight here, something like that, I decided to finally drop. I lost against uh, the mirror match. I just got pummeled. Uh, I didn't draw optimally. I think I bricked game three too. It was, it was bad. You can't win them all, you know, and I'm not actually like that upset. I think I did absolutely incredible today for this regional. I was very confident, but only confidence can get you so far. Next event outside of locals coming up, 
I think is Knoxville. I think that's the next one I'll be attending. Uh, but outside of that, we got a little break from Yu-Gi-Oh going down here. Uh, we can start testing locally again. Maybe find something else to play. I'm really liking Danger Thunder though. I don't know if I'll change it. I love the deck a lot. It was great seeing everybody out here today. Uh, I can't wait for the next regional, uh, which there's one in like May 25th or something. Thanks guys. There's one like May 25th or something coming up here in Philly again, but I won't be attending that one, unfortunately. Uh, I don't know when the next regional that I'll be attending is actually at all. Really got to start uh, putting in the crunch hours on testing in for Nats though. That's coming up rather quick and I need to really get on top of that. If you guys liked the video, be sure to like, comment, definitely subscribe, and I will catch you guys.